What's up guys? My name is Talisha and I live aboard an international sailing catamaran called Liger. Over the past two years, I've spent quite a bit of time in Gibraltar, so I want to show you 10 of the places you can explore there that are off the beaten path. A tiny peninsula at the entrance to the Mediterranean Sea, Gibraltar has a long and storied history. It's been home to the Neanderthals, visited by Romans and Phoenicians, conquered by invading Moors and ceded to the British. In total, my crew and I have spent over 16 weeks in the Queensway Key Marina and we used that time to explore in and around the rock as much as possible, discovering places that most visitors have no idea even exist. First up, the Northern Defences. Formerly known as the Jungle, it's a huge complex of military tunnels and ruins that date back as far as the 1700s when the British first took over. To get into the area, you walk through a tunnel at the end of Moorish Castle Estate Road, follow the path all the way to the end which is towards the airport, and go down the stairs to the left. The whole area used to be overgrown. But, in recent years, an effort has been made to clear it out, making it much easier to explore. Expect to spend at least three to four hours wandering through the tunnels, looking at the ruins and inscriptions left behind by soldiers who are long gone. So I got it out. I put the iron just disintegrating on there. The inside of the rock of Gibraltar is like an ant's nest, with layers and layers of hidden tunnels and chambers. Below the obviously accessible layers of the northern defences is another section that you can access by climbing out a window. Go down the longest, steepest staircase in the complex and search for this window. Climb out the window, up over the ledge and along the wall before stepping into a hidden World War bunker. We discovered it during our second trip to Gibraltar, and while it isn't as clean as the rest of the Northern Defences, there's something special about going somewhere that not many others do. After exploring the main layers of the Northern Defences and Prince's Line, our attention shifted upwards. After a hike through the greenery that naturally grows on the rock, we found the Lower Union Gallery which is cut into a sheer cliff. A smaller complex, the gallery was originally part of the communication line that ran along the rock towards Hanover Battery. It only takes about 15 minutes to explore, but you can easily get there from Prince's Line by taking the eastern fork in the path and hiking up. Dug by the British forces, Forbes Quarry's claim to fame is being the site of the discovery of a female Neanderthal skull back in 1848. The cave the skull was found in is long gone, but at the back of the quarry there's an access shaft to another series of hidden World War II tunnels, which may have originally connected to the Northern Defences area. Being real, access is not for the faint of heart. The stairs soldiers would have used to go up are long gone, so you need to free climb up a high, steep shaft. It doesn't get much more off the beaten path than this. Visiting Talus Slope Reserve is about what's inside the rock, rather than outside. When we were in Gibraltar, there was an open entrance at the back of the reserve that you could go inside of to explore 20th century tunnels. These tunnels were once part of a fuel storage facility. Enormous caverns were carved into the rock and fuel vats standing at over four storeys high were built inside. They're not joking about Gibraltar having underground cities. Ventilation tunnels leading to the outside were blasted through and there's even a tunnel that leads all the way under the rock back to the centre of town. One thing we will say is be wary of entering anything that looks like it's from the modern era. As cruisers, one of the first things we see when coming into Gibraltar is the iconic lighthouse and mosque at the end of Europa Point. It's a fairly standard place for tourists to go, but there's more to the point than meets the eye. When we went, 
there was an old World War II gun laying on the ground and a tunnel on the eastern side towards the road. We'd recommend avoiding the tunnel since it's a dump, but the gun is cool. Casting your eyes to the hillside above, there's a path that runs along the edge which gives spectacular views of the Mediterranean Sea. Oh, cast your eyes out there. We're not giving this one back, boys. <laughs> At the top of the rock, inside the Gibraltar Nature Reserve, is a trail called Douglas Path. Down to the right, there's a small building structure that you can go into and look around. Now, if you climb out one of the southern windows, you'll be rewarded with an incredible view of the Rock of Gibraltar, probably one of the best you're going to get. Just be careful near the edge. It's high, and there's no barriers or fences to hold you back. Down the southern end of the Gibraltar Nature Reserve is Spur Battery. Since it's more isolated than some of the other sites, less tourists seem to visit, and most of the people we met were locals who'd come down to hang out and watch the sun go down. From Spur Battery, there are expansive views that overlook Spain, Morocco, the Mediterranean Sea, and of course, Gibraltar. The Barbary macaques like to hang around here, and if you go down the stairs to the old ammo storage, it might just be unlocked. Zooming up to the northern end of the nature reserve are the artillery guns of Princess Anne's Battery. These enormous guns are worth a look just by themselves, but if you take a hike into the greenery behind them, you'll discover an old military lookout and storage areas for the battery. Okay, okay, okay. It might not be off the beaten path, but all good adventures should end with a pint at the pub. Being a British territory, it's not too hard to find a traditional English pub serving up cold beer and a classic fish and chips. That's it from me for now, but if you've been to Gibraltar and know of somewhere you think is an absolute gem, make sure you pop it in the comments for other travellers to see.